Good evening, it's VJ Franz K. Now, um, on TNRI, we have the zoom mode, which um, can be used for those who are using the iPhone to be able to get in closer to the action. But if you want to get a little bit silly with it, you can get in super close. And I was thinking, when you really get down to it, how many of these buttons do you actually need as the bare minimum to make a track? And I guess the answer is, in fact, four. But I would rather have nine, just because it will, you know, make more things available. But do you dare me? I'm going to make a track with only nine buttons. A lot of things are selectable using the wheel as well, so we're going to be using the wheel for those things that we can't get to within these nine buttons. In the play menu, I'm going to select master loop point end. I'm going to change it down to three. So you'll notice now every uh, layer is going to be three. So then I will select my first instrument and I have to use the wheel to uh, pick out my instruments now. But I know that uh, the row 7 is my drums. So, let's see. You notice we're going to have to do something in three. So I think I'll allow myself to use bounce mode also, just because bounce mode will be very interesting with only three And because everything will be going so fast, I probably want to slow down the loop speed. Uh, to make the most of my three buttons, I can change the master scale also. I think I'll use major pentatonic. Maybe I'll slow it down yet one more. Uh, loop speed increment here. All right, let's go ahead and pick another layer.
amazingly, I do in fact have a melody going here with only nine buttons used. That's pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? I like that. <laughs> the hardest thing to do is uh, use the mixer mode, which we won't really be able to do. Um, of course, I can always use uh, features like, you know, I can use the menus to adjust things. Like, oh yeah, on the layer menu, I can still get at the volume if I want. And other things like that. That bounce layer is getting annoying, isn't it? So I'm going to go up to the bounce mode layer. Then I'll go back to my layer menu. Maybe increase the length of those notes. using the wheel, but actually it appears to be a very short sample. So I'll instead do the octave. So then, let's see, uh, I'll do some random mode, why not? With such a short sequence of notes, your challenge will always be making things not too annoying and repetitive. Here we can do a push mode. One push mode lights up the whole screen. I'm going to add another percussion element here. Interesting how that mixes in. I can try increasing the loop speed. That's either in beat or out of beat, depending on what you consider beat to be. Sort of a very minimalist rhythm, but it still is musical. So we thought 9 was hard, but let's go ahead and zoom in just because we can. We're going to zoom in all the way to 4, the closest we can possibly get. Now the master loop point is set to 2. Start as I usually do with drums. So we'll go to row 7. Don't normally select like this, but we got to. Sort of like a hardcore techno pattern, you know? Let's use the random mode, shall we? Do it on eight. Then to add a little more variety, we are going to use the rotation. See if I can even make that work with so few dots. I guess it doesn't. Now that's way too fast and way too flashy. So we're going to slow that down. We'll also reset the loop timing. <laughs> so we have two alternating notes there. Pick a different. Things do get a little bit monotonous, but at least we can use the... Master Transpose to... make things a little interesting for a minute. Actually, 
the draw mode is one of our best bets for a complicated rhythm at this point. Would you believe it? There are examples in world music where um, music is made with just two notes. So it's, it's not unknown in this world to do something like this. Maybe we would turn down the master tempo a little bit. Get not quite so repetitive. Shall we stop at this or shall we keep going? I'll do a little bit of solo mode. Unfortunately, solo mode is not really that good when you can't get up to those top four near the top of the screen. So with a pattern this simple, a lot of the variation would be making a bunch of different layers doing different this and that, and then changing a lot of the parts you know, a lot of different permutations of this to retain some interest. But anyway, this has been a fun experiment. I mean, the uh, four button and nine button song are probably not going to top your uh, platinum record charts, but it was a fun experiment to try, wouldn't you say? This is VJ Franz K signing out for now. I'll be back with more uh, TNRI and revolutionary synth reviews in general. Send me your comments, questions, apps, and of course, subscribe. I'll see you again soon.